This is Bumper to Bumper TV. A few years ago, electric-powered cars were considered a pipe dream or a concept at best. But uncertainty over oil supplies and prices and a push to greener way of getting around has changed things a lot. A crash-tested electric car in an auto show stand. It's a world premiere. We have brought this C30 electric here to show the world how a safe electric car should look. Nearly every manufacturer has some form of electrically operated vehicle, ranging from the gas electric Chevrolet Volt, which is winning the PR wars right now, to the pure electric Nissan Leaf. Or if you like your environmentally conscious drive with luxury and high-end performance, the AMG SLS electric from Mercedes-Benz. And for all of the technology, what is pushing consumers to consider a vehicle that runs on watts instead of octane? They're, they're smooth, they're, uh, they're quiet, uh, it, it, there's an appeal that you're not burning anything inside the car, you don't have to wait for it to warm up, um, and I think the idea that you don't have to go to the gas station, and then all that entails. Instead of fossil-based fuel systems, the existing electrical grid and charging stations are the power behind the vehicles. In some places, the local utility companies are embracing the idea and offering low rates for recharging batteries overnight when electrical demand is usually low. Depending upon the manufacturer, a fully charged electric car has a range of anywhere from 75 to 120 miles, which is more than the average daily commute. The current generation of electric cars are battery dependent, and the real selling job will be convincing the buying public that these power systems can last. We fully expect that the battery will last the life of the vehicle that there's much more than 100,000 miles capability of lifetime in the battery so that it won't be something people have to worry about you know after two or three or four years that we're talking you know, eight, ten plus years down the road. Currently electric cars are not cheap since the battery systems usually cost about ten thousand dollars per unit. However, there is a federal tax credit of seven thousand dollars available to offset the difference between gasoline and electric powered vehicles. But for now, most car builders are still hedging their bets on this technology and they're continuing to offer traditional combustion power plants in a majority of their offerings. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.